Welcome back to my channel. The today topic is how the cloud will change the operating systems. So the topic is under the future of cloud computing is the main topic. So an operating system firstly that it OS is a massive piece of software which take care of managing hardware devices, applications, users, system resources, etc. And it provides uh, several functionalities. But operating system that is OS vendors typically pack more and more features and services to make their OS more attractive to the end users and organization. But now nowadays this mindset is changing. So let's see. So let me ask you something like uh, what do you care about in your phone? The operating system on the phone or the apps or service that you can run on the phone. Will you care of the phone operating system has one less feature but apps like Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, other uh, regularly using apps like Uber working properly. Probably you would be good if the apps run properly rather than you do not care much about the operating system itself. Like uh, if the operating system has one uh, negligible feature less than the other operating system. So this shift in the mindset is more focused towards the apps and services that we can provide it to the user rather than packaging everything in the operating system. So cloud provides various services that the app developers or users are without depending or caring much about the OS itself. So for example, in the cloud, if you need a database and you don't really set it up yourself and manage the underlying OS, rather you would consume the database service if you are if you choose and if your choice for the particular database and just pay for what database what type of database you use database service is much more important than the operating system that runs on the device so cloud is likely going to change in the following ways so let's see the ways are first it's minimal os scalable and robust os newer ways of running OS, customizable OS, and the last one is cheaper OS. So let's see for the minimal OS. So the OS vendors would typically provide basic features such as hardware management, file system, and keep the remaining feature service option. So this is the name like a minimal OS. Main features are, uh, main features will be provided and the other uh, services and features of the OS are optional and it depends upon the user and the user can add more features and services if she wants and hence the OS is used just consume the cloud service and apps next one is scalable and robust OS to ensure that the OS is suitable for using cloud vendors focus on making the operating system architecture scalable and robust to sustain the high performance workloads so to carry the high performance workloads the uh, architecture of operating system should be scalable and robust and it will be taken care by OS vendors and the OS should be capable of consuming various cloud service at the scale like uh, the user will pay as the as he or she will use the particular cloud service so in this way the scalable and robust the operating system next one is new way newer ways of the running operating system so New technologies like containers, unikernels, and serverless computing are changing the ways in which operating system is run. Following the trend of minimal operating system, this technology is just a package enough operating system that is needed for running application. For example, if you want to run a server, only the operating system components required for running the web server are packed along with the web server application and run. The other operating system containers or components are not packed. This is the uh, uh, version like uh, or the type like a uh, minimal operating system that we have seen at uh, the few minutes before. Next one is customizable, customizable OS. So instead of either all or nothing, the operating system in the cloud era would require the ability to be able to customize it depending upon the users such as uh, Facebook and Twitter use Linux OS because Linux OS provides great capabilities around the customization and hence it preferred choice for the cloud-based applications. So for example, if a user want to uh, compute or create a virtual machine instance in the AWS or GCP cloud, so he will have the 
uh, options like uh, how much RAM he or she wants and which database he or she wants to connect with etc. So this has the customizable OS on the cloud. So cheaper OS. Cloud allows you to run only any operating system and pay as per uses. So you don't need to buy any expensive operating system license uh, and they were uh, expensive and uh, we have to need that applications for the particular time period and not for the longer time so this is the cheaper operating system